Well, I think this, I think this issue of relativism, which is very widespread, you know, in, in the academy, but also in society as a whole, and that might be in a certain sense the predominant viewpoint of young people today. I think that that springs from uh, the academy having been incredibly strongly influenced by postmodernism. And there is a sense in which postmodernism simply dis discards all grand narratives, as it calls them. In other words, big pictures of the way the universe or, or life or, or everything is. Um, postmodernism says these are never true, that, that the local narratives are the important thing. There is a sense in which po I think postmodernism sprang from a reaction against scientism. So, so the earliest postmodernists who, who, um, who essentially promoted this idea of recognizing that um, the, the relative um, difficulty of establishing our knowledge were em emphasized as much as possible, they were emphasizing as much as possible that science is not all the real knowledge there is. So I, I take the view concerning postmodernism that postmodernism is a reasonable reaction to scientism. It's, it's to push back against scientism and say, no, there are lots of other important things, the ways we understand our lives and about the world. The difficulty is that postmodernism very often throws out the baby with the bathwater. The bathwater of scientism deserves to be thrown away. But science itself does give us real knowledge, reliable knowledge about the world. And by the way, so do other, so many other disciplines give us true knowledge. And so I think there is such a thing as truth. It, 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 we are perhaps uh, in a position of recognizing that it's more difficult than perhaps some of our forebears thought it was to arrive at it. But I certainly don't take the view that there is no truth. And I certainly uh, take the view that Christianity is um, deeply true.